Hey there everybody, I was asked by this music in my head to do a request video and the title is self-explanatory. So if you're tired of hearing about Whitney Houston or you're just over the whole incident with her death, I, one, I don't know why you clicked on this video, two, just exit, get out, don't need any negativity. So basically I was asked to talk about her death slash her drug abuse. So I guess I can pretty much start out with how I found out about it. It was actually during, um, I believe it was the, it was either the second or the third, I want to say it was the third performance of the Vagina Monologues when I found out because someone was like, oh my gosh, Whitney Houston died. And at first I didn't believe it because I actually went back to when I found out when Michael Jackson passed away. And I thought it was a joke. And then, of course, you get on the computer, you Google it, and it's true. So I was very shocked when I found out that she passed away. But at the same time, I was kind of like, I kind of saw it happening. I mean, not in the way it happened. I just say, said that it didn't really surprise me that she died young. I know that sounds bad, but that's just how I felt. Uh, let me see. I wrote down some key points I wanted to talk about. Um, okay, I mentioned that. I mentioned when I found out. I mentioned that, too. All right, back to what I was going to say. Sorry, guys. This is just completely on the fly right now. Now I want to kind of get into the whole drug abuse situation. Um, I'm currently taking a course at my university um, for my psychology minor. It's called Drugs and Behavior. And I, I've learned a lot so far. Basically, there's this saying that drugs are neither good nor bad. And I agree with that statement because I look at it as guns don't kill people, people kill people. Because if, if you lay the gun on the table, it's not going to just get up and shoot somebody. That's you picking it up and shooting someone. Now, when it comes to drugs, and I'm talking about any type of drug. I'm talking prescription or illegal. Either way, the drug is just sitting there. Until you pick it up and you do something with it determines if it becomes good or bad. Like with a prescription drug. If you take the correct dosage that you need, then it'll help relieve any pain or any symptoms that you're having. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that when you pick up a prescription drug, it's going to have a positive effect. Because I know people who they've taken the correct dosage and it still had a negative effect on their system. So in that case, your immune system and your body didn't agree with that drug. Does that necessarily make the drug bad? Depends on how you look at it. Now, when it comes to the illegal drugs, I feel that people just need to do their research uh, before they even get into that kind of thing because I know I'm never going to do anything, any illegal drugs. I already know that. That's in my mindset. That's just how I am. Now, I believe her drug of choice was cocaine. And cocaine can mess you up. I mean, that's just how it is. It can mess you up and has very negative side effects. Now, one of the side effects I noticed with Whitney was her voice in particular. Because, don't get me wrong, even when she made some of her more recent songs, I love them. But her voice had changed. I'm not saying that she was a bad singer all of a sudden. No, it's Whitney Houston. I mean, she can sing regardless. But I did notice a change in her voice. And you could tell that it was the drugs that did that to her. And it really kind of hurts me. I'm kind of going a little left field, right? Left is that way, Courtney. A little left field right now. Because I feel that it, it hurts me sometimes to see so much talent in one person and then they make a decision and mess it up which is what a lot which, which is what happens a lot of times because we all make mistakes that's another thing we all make mistakes and it's really sad knowing that 
she's gone and people are still going to talk about her mistake. But that's just life and that's how people are. People are going to talk about you regardless. Even when you're dead and gone, they're still going to talk about you. And a lot of people are saying, like, remember her for who she was and not what she did. But in the back of my head, I'm thinking, why shouldn't we remember her for what she did? Before you attack me, just just hear me out. I feel that I feel that this is what should happen, but it's not going to necessarily happen to everybody. When you see a celebrity, and of course they're in the public eye. I mean, there are people following them everywhere. They're saying all this stuff about them. And then they die, and you know that drugs were a part of their life. May not have necessarily 100% caused their death, although in some cases, or in a lot of cases, it usually does. It makes you think that the public would look at it as, why are we messing with these drugs and using them for these purposes? But that's just not going to happen. I know people who just do drugs and some people even who've done hardcore drugs. And I've just, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. All I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is, yes, remember Whitney Houston, but don't necessarily forget the negative side of what she went through. I'm saying just to keep that in the back of your head so that you don't go through the same thing. Yeah, there we go. That sounded good. <laughs> um... So yeah, basically, I mean, she's gone. This video in no way is going to bring her back. That's life. We all have to go sometime, somehow, some, some way. And we all are, I do firmly believe that we're all, of course, destined for things to happen in our lives. And we just can't stop them from happening. Sure, you didn't have to pick up that drug and do that, but... That was a part of what happened in your life. Hopefully I don't sound like I'm rambling too much. I'm My goal was to keep this video under 10 minutes, and I did it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So take care, and God bless. Bye, everybody. Hey, guys, I'm back very quickly. I do this in almost every video. I stop it, then I come back and want to say something. I wanted to get my facts straight about cocaine, so I'm looking at a site right now that talks about the effects of it, and sorry if you can hear me clicking away on my computer, but um, it's talking about how cocaine's bad for your heart, and it can result in a heart attack, or it can trigger a deadly abnormal heart rhythm. It can also affect your brain, your lungs, your gastrointestinal tract, the kidneys, and it can um, affect sexual function. I don't want any drug affecting my sexual function. Anyway, point is, like I'm saying, um, drugs, whether they are prescription or whether they're illegal, they can have negative effects. I mean, we all know this. We all know this. If you ever had something and they told you, side effects are diarrhea, heart disease, lung disease, kidney failure. Well, I'm pretty sure nothing's ever said that in that order, but... Like, you know how you listen to the uh, commercials for a certain new drug and they tell you all, oh, don't take this if you're pregnant, stuff like that. Uh, just be aware. Just be careful. Talk to your doctor before you take anything prescription related. And I know we all love to go to the over-the-counter things and get that cough medicine, cough medicine, in case you didn't hear me, in order to relieve those flu cold-like symptoms. And then when it gets worse, you go to the doctor and they give you the real good stuff. That was just such a horrible rambling se session. I'm sorry, everyone. Take care for real this time. Bye.